This trader turned just $590 into $70,000 in just a month. Someone made one of the biggest mistakes I have ever seen and this trader turned just $85 into $5,000 overnight. And we are starting off with an insane gain by SMG329 who's thanking Mama Sue as he turned just $590 into $70,000 in about a month. And he multiplied his money 118 times because he bought 100 AMD call options with a striking price at $120 dollars and expiration date on June the 2nd. He originally bought the day after their earnings because it went down 10% on a good earnings. He doubled it down a few days later when the price dipped slightly. And almost sold yesterday but decided today was the day and secured his profits. It might keep going up but he's happy to hit a home run. Needless to say this was his best play ever as it brought his lifetime of having lost 25k to now up 70k. But man just look at his trading history. He bought the first calls on May the 2nd for just $170 and $150 and it took him just a month to turn it into $70,000 and the funniest part is that he bought before earnings thinking it'd be a nice few hundred in profit. His strategy isn't anything special as he just buys when the market reacts in a certain way towards the stock and picks the opposite direction. But he also gives himself like a month at least so that he has room to either double down if he truly believes or to cut his losses before they become too big. Anyway next we have one of the harshest losses I have ever seen. Nvidia opened at $405 on Tuesday and it's time to deliver. As Chan's character 8092 said that if Nvidia opens 400 he'll eat his own ass. But in all seriousness next we have a huge gain by Stock Gambler 33 who turned $400 into $5000 by going full degen. In true Wall Street bets fashion he couldn't pay his rent today so he took his roommate's rent to cover his overdrafted account and yoloed into DG because he was so confident and it paid off. Just in one day he's up by 237% around 3.8k because on May the 31st he bought $390 worth of DG put options with a striking price at $190 an expiration date on June the 2nd and the next day he sold them for $5,166. Now you might have noticed that he also bought a put which he sold later for a lot and that is all part of a strategy to which we'll get in a moment. For his next two gambles he bought a strangle on 5 which is an option strategy where you buy a call and a put and you make money if the stock moves up or down by a certain amount and lose if it stays flat. And he also bought a strangle on Lulu. And well since he bought these strategies 5 moved up by around 10% and Lulu by around 10%. So he most likely made money on those two trades as well. And yeah his $500 of Lulu calls are worth $3,500 right now. And for his next play he's looking at GME, DocuSign, Cracker Barrel and Dave & Buster's earnings. Next up we have a huge loss by Fully Taxed Bro. A year's salary gone in degen gambling and he's ready for the start again. In the past year he's down by 99.82% or $65,171.21 and is left with just $245.20. And it looks like he had one huge win at the start which it quickly turned into into a loss and then he just continued losing until he pretty much blew his account in one huge loss. And he said that next time he'll do anything different than losing. Well good luck to him. Anyway next we have a huge gain by Frogman2468. He's up by 127% or $34,860 because he bought 40 put options on BOD with a striking price at $70 and an expiration date on September the 15th. And the funniest part is that he stumbled into this position because he originally entered the put debit calendar spread. His short put with an expiration date on June the 16th got exercised and he decided to hang on to the naked long puts as a YOLO. His original DD was that the boycott would be underreported and only became apparent after earnings. So he was betting on it trading sideways and then dropping after earnings came out around March the 8th. But the market sees all and he's sticking with his short position for what it's worth. He thinks there is a lot of downward momentum at the moment. AB gets about 30% of their revenue and profit from North America but they're starting to give their product away to distributors for free. So not only are they missing out on profit, they're actually losing money on those. The boycott also isn't just contained to Budweiser like others were suggesting here. It's all of North America AB products. For a reference, Bot is only down 13% year to date. Next up we have a huge loss by Drakeem721 who is down by 85% or $58,044 
dollars and his account is worth just 100 dollars short of 10k and he lost so much because of nvidia earnings he made a stupid mistake and paid the price he never thought nvidia would move like it did he's 20 and was planning on using this money to buy a house later this year and he closed all positions set open to save what he could it sucks because he almost never does any plays like this but the one time he did it just ended up blowing up his account and despite he's just 20 this wasn't the first time he lost a lot of money when he was 18 he turned 10k into 150k with amc options then he got greedy and ended up losing almost all of that he swore to never buy options again and switch to feta gang and has been working to regain ever since and now this happened to him again hopefully he learns from this second loss next we have a huge gain by manly mcm who turned just 85 dollars into more than 5k on nvidia just today he's up by 5329 percent or 5073 dollars and 98 cents because he bought one nvidia call with a striking price at 365 dollars and one call with a striking price at 352 dollars and 50 cents and expiration dates on may the 26th he's 21 and started getting back into trading with about 100 dollars since school ended he figured he would yolo into options with all the ai and whatnot and he was not disappointed he went from being down 3k all time to being up 2k overnight looks like he'll finally have to pay taxes this year on his stock exchanges next up we have another huge gain by time and this unit 859 who says you just don't short apple as he's on by 640 percent or 40 cent thousand six hundred and forty six dollars and fifty cents cents because he bought a lot of apple shares at an incredibly low average cost of just 24 dollars and 31 cents but he's not the only one who bought apple at such cheap prices historical law 5173 posted his 563 percent or almost 400k gain but then petroid 333 who you might remember from the last video when he turned 50k into 1.7 million dollars outdid both of them by posting his 1343 percent or almost a million dollar gain with an average buying price of just 12 dollars and 52 cents adding that once you're in their ecosystem it's hard to leave this position is a buy and hold until retirement not a trade and last but not least we have a huge gain by yt yt tyler who got into doing options on earnings as we can see in the past year he's up by almost 300 percent or sixty thousand seventy dollars and 54 cents and his chart is just exponentially going up with no signs of stopping one of these stocks is a stock dump from his company he used that to save let's gamble so he bought out of money apple calls at earnings then nvidia calls at earnings and puts before the 20 dollar drop the other day and lastly he bought salesforce puts at earnings as for his strategy he's looking for the companies that actually benefited from the ai directly in the past quarter also when a company goes up 30 percent in a couple of days there is a very good chance the slightest drop is going to lead to some serious profit taking especially if it's a high volume stock so puts and companies Companies that are way up just has been working as a swing trade he's also keeping his bets to 5 to 10 percent balance and just sells when he's up trying not to get greedy and for his next play he's going to be watching for a likely upcoming red day to buy puts on mongo and if you want to see how this trader turned just 50k into 1.7 million dollars with just one stock click on the video that just popped up and if that is not enough smash the subscribe button as you'll help me out a lot in reaching my goal of 600 subscribers if you have any questions or recommendations Leave them in the comments down below and thanks for watching.